You know, I may have to take back what I said about the oft-overlooked city, county, and regional park and campground, because here's another one. This is Savannah Recreation Park and Campground in Fort Pierce, Florida, and she's a beaut. So y'all follow me. I'll show you around. go any further I'd like to remind you guys please don't forget to mash that subscribe button give me a big old thumbs up maybe even leave me a comment or two I sure would appreciate it wanted to tell you guys about this great app too RV Parky what a wonderful app to go find campgrounds all over this great country of ours and it's absolutely free check your Play Store the Savannah's is an outdoor recreation area which provides camping boating fishing and picnic facilities. Visit the Trading Post, which is an original cracker house that was relocated to the site and restored for use as an office. The structure is estimated to have been built sometime between 1890 and 1912. Come sit in the wraparound porch and watch the waters of the savannah and the extensive wildlife. Covering 550 acres and five distinct biological communities, the savanna provides access to pine flatwoods, wet prairie marsh, lake, and scrub habitats. Due to the unique biological and geographical features, the savannas received reserve status by the Florida Legislature in 1978. The savannas is perhaps the most unique wilderness area in Florida. Savannah's Park and Campground is open year-round, and I've got to tell you, they have got some really reasonable prices. From May 1st through October 31st, for a full hookup site, you're looking at $22.42 as of 2021. Tent sites go for $17.93 a night. From November 1st to April 30th, it goes up just a little bit, but that's the time of year for it. Nightly price for a full hookup site goes to $26 and one penny. You heard that right, $26 and one penny. That is an extremely reasonable amount of money to pay for a beautiful campsite such as this. And the tent site, $17.93 a night. Fantastic. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here train a rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this train a-rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. So let me tell you just a little bit about these very spacious and somewhat shaded RV spots. They are full hookup, which means they have water, electricity, and sewer. Again, what a bargain. The campground has several amenities worth mentioning. First of all, they do have hot showers and public restrooms. There are picnic pavilions and tables available for an additional cost. There's Wi-Fi for registered guests only. Each site has a fire ring and there's also a large community fire ring for groups in addition to all that they also have a laundry facility canoe and kayaks are also available for rent they are available between the hours of 8 30 a.m. and 4 30 p.m. daily as I mentioned they also have pavilion rental Palm Island is a private rental area that boasts a 60 foot by 40 foot pavilion with concrete floors, picnic tables, and benches. There are men's and women's restroom facilities and an attached kitchenette. There is water access for kayaking or fishing, a large fire ring for campfires, and a grill for cooking. This area is available year round for daily and overnight rentals for your family or business gathering needs. And much like the camping and the kayak rentals, the Palm Island pavilions are very reasonably priced. You're looking at $75 for an 8-hour block, 
12 to 14 hours will set you back 100 bucks. And if you want the whole thing for the whole night, you can have it for 125 bucks. The kitchenette, however, is an extra 50 bucks. In addition to all this, there's also a nice dog park for you to let old Scruffy run around and have a little fun with some other dogs. Well-behaved dogs are welcome to play all they like as long as they're supervised. A few other rules apply for pets, and it's pretty much the same as any other park. All dogs must be on a leash no longer than six foot and are not allowed to be left in your RV or your tent or your campsite unattended. There are also some passive recreation activities available at the park. For instance, wildlife and bird watching. Wildlife such as gopher tortoises, alligators, hawks, sandhill cranes, eagles, egrets, otters, turtles, and the great Florida skunk ape. Oops, did I say that out loud? Y'all forget I said that. Well, that's going to be about it. I don't think for the money you're going to beat this place. Listen, y'all go on out there, be nice to one another. I sure love you. And until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.